Tonight we look at Monograms 1937 Cord on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Are you ready to open up the lid of another old classic kit? Well, today we're going to look at Monograms 1937 Cord Convertible. So let's go down and check out what's in the box. And now we turn back our radio dials to 1937 and we get to open up the box on the Monogram Classic Cord Feet and Sedan, the 1937 812 Supercharged Convertible. Now this box is very nice, featuring the original artwork. Although it is a newer kit. So we will just open the box on this. And of course the first thing we get to see are the instruction sheet. Now it says here that this came out originally in 1978. Which is a long time ago. And as you can see by opening the instructions, that Monogram uses a very simple, easy building type of model. The parts usually go together very, very nice without very many gaps or other complications. And back in the 70s, they had a real good series of classic cars. You'll notice that you get the flip headlights, which was an innovation of Cord back in 1937. Cord was also part of the Auburn family. And Cord and Auburn used front wheel drive as depicted in this engine. See, it looks like it's sitting in backwards. But there's the fan there, and that is the transfer case on your transmission. And there's your independent arms to the transmission. A real innovation for that era. And then as you turn it over, you get to see how the engine has the exhaust pipes that come out and go underneath the car. This car was also known as the coffin nose cord because of the way the, sh the hood was shaped, which was quite revolutionary in that time period. And you also get the up top for your convertible to keep the dust out. <laughs> now let's look at the plastic itself. We'll begin with the chrome tree, which was done very nicely. Very clean, no dust in the chrome or any other problems with it. And there you can see the the cylinder head and the nice nice hubcap details. And now we can look at the body, a nice cream color. You could actually leave this as unpainted if you want, but I always recommend that you paint the plastic because if you use glue over time, the glue can actually cause the color of the plastic to discolor, usually yellow or brown. And you'll note that the front fenders fit really nicely onto the body. And there's those holes for the exhaust to go through. And here we have our coffin nose. Kind of hard to hold together with one hand in mid-air, but that's how it would look. Now, if you buy some bare metal foil, you can foil this whole front, give it a nice chrome grill look. I think it might, might have been too complicated for Monogram to use this as separate on the chrome tree. Now let's look underneath the car. There's your frame, and there's some nice panel detail on our gas tank and on the back of the pan there. Here's the V8 engine. Looking all nice. And some of the suspension components. And then we have the radiator and the brakes as well as the exhaust. And again, this is molded in black, so basically you could build this model unpainted. And then we have our wheel backs, our steering wheel, and some of the braces that go in the car. 
So you can see it's not very many pieces, but it will yield quite a nice model. And there's our clear parts. And our dashboard, the separate chrome insert. Chrome was quite a luxuriant thing back in those days. And here is the convertible top in the up position, and it has the little, little buttons on there as the real car does. And then uh, we have our set of tires and these come with the white wall insert. It just plugs into there. So you don't need to paint the white walls, which is always nice. And you get a set of four in your kit. And then this is the part that I started to build, the interior. The bench seat would be a front and back as a separate item. And of course your gas pedals, brake pedals. And again, very nice. And fits together in the car really well. And that brings us to the end of our examination of the Cord 812 Supercharged Convertible from 1937. I hope you liked that episode of What's in the Box where we got to see the 1937 Cord. Quite an amazing kit, isn't it? And uh, if you want to see the rest of our cars in this series, make sure you click here, and here, and right down here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here so we can keep that old gasoline running and keep the videos coming. And until next time, we'll see you later.